Good morning, Grade Five. Welcome back to Grade Five Mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So we have already started the chapter, Chapter Thirteen, Mapping Skills, and we have been learning the basics to read and map. Today, let's learn about direction on a map. So, what do you mean by direction? Direction means the way that you have to move to get from one place or one object to another place or another object. Let's see that again. Direction is the way you have to travel to get from one place or object to another place or object, and it is usually measured in terms of the compass directions or the four cardinal directions: north, south, east, and west. And on a map, the directions are shown usually using an arrow, a cross, or some kind of pointed star like this, which shows. The north direction. Now, in page number one hundred ninety-four of your textbook, you can see this picture. This is a layout of a children's park. You can see the entrance of the park is facing towards the north. You can see east here, south, and west here. So the four directions are north, south, east, and west. The swings and the sandpit area. Are located towards the east with respect to the entrance of the park. The soft drink stand is located towards the west with respect to the sandpit area. So, with respect to the entrance gate, the swings and sandpit area are located at the east. And with respect to this sandpit area, the soft drink stand is located to its west. And can you say what is the location of this garbage collection bin with respect to the swings? With respect to the swings, the garbage collection bin is located to the west. Now let's make this more clear with one more example. In the same page, you can see a picture like this. So this is the map of Central Hexagon near India Gate at New Delhi. We can see. The central hexagon here near to the India Gate. Now there are a few questions given below. If you are at India Gate and walking towards Tilak Mark, in which direction is IG Stadium to you? So have a close look at the map given here. Where is Tilak Mark? See, you have India Gate here, and Tilak Mark is this row. You can look at the picture in your textbook. So in the route map given there, you can see Tilak Mark here, and IG Stadium is here. And you are standing near India Gate, walking towards Tilak Mark. And can you say what is the location of IG Stadium with respect to Tilak Mark? You can say IG Stadium is to the north of Tilak Mark, or more specifically to the north east of Tilak Mark. You can see the four directions marked here on the map: north, south, east, and west. So, the IG Stadium is towards the east, or more specifically, northeast of Tilak Mark. Now, let's see the second question: In which direction is Rajkot from Medical College? So, where is Rajkot and Medical College in this map? Here you can see Rajkot, and here is Medical College. So, Rajkot is to the east of Medical College. Observe the map carefully. You can see Rajkot here. To the east of Medical College. Now let's see the third question in the next page. Name the roads which are parallel to the following roads. The first one is Subhash Mark. You can see Subhash Mark here. You can look into your textbook and which is the road parallel to Subhash Mark in the route map? It is the Ring Road. So you can write Ring Road there. The next one be Janpath. And where is Janpath? Janpath is here. And which is the road parallel to Janpath? It is the Rafi Mark. So you can write Rafi Mark there. Now the fourth one. Mark the shortest route to reach Rashtrapati Bhavan from India Gate. Where is Rashtrapati Bhavan? You can see Rashtrapati Bhavan here, and India Gate is here. So can you find out the shortest route from India Gate to reach Rashtrapati Bhavan? So it is this straight path that is from India Gate passing through Janpath. Rafi Mark, Vijay Chak, and then you reach Rashtrapati Bhavan. So the fifth one, Dandi Mars Memorial, lies to the dash of Rashtrapati Bhavan. 
So you can see Rashtrapati Bhavan here and Dandi March Memorial here. So from this roadmap, we can say Dandi March Memorial is located to the south of Rashtrapati Bhavan. Now the sixth one, Dolls Museum lies to the dash of Pragadi Maidan. So where is the Dolls Museum? Here and Pragadi Maidan is here. So what is the location of Dolls Museum with respect to Pragadi Maidan? We can say the Dolls Museum is located to the north of Pragadi Maidan. So you can write north there. So children, I hope you are clear with this exercise. Now, we'll do an activity. In page number 195, you have the exercise 13.1. The first question, this map is drawn to scale of 1 centimeter is equal to 200 kilometer approximately. Using this scale, find the approximate distance between Panaji and Lonawala if the distance between them on the map is 2.5 centimeter. So you can see a map drawn here and it uses a scale of 1 centimeter is equal to 200 kilometer which means that 1 centimeter on this drawing is equal to 200 kilometer of actual distance. So you are asked to find out the distance between Panaji and Lonawala if it takes 2.5 centimeter on this drawing. So how do we find it out? How do we find out the actual distance between Panaji and Lonawala from this map? So we know the scale 1 centimeter is equal to 200 kilometer and on the map the distance between these two places is equal to 2.5 centimeter. Now if 1 centimeter is equal to 200 kilometer of actual distance 2.5 centimeter will be equal to an actual distance of 2.5 into 200 kilometer. And what is 2.5 into 200? That is equal to 500 kilometer. So the distance between Panaji and Lonawala is an actual distance of 500 kilometer. So I hope you are clear with this question. Now you may go through the topic direction in page number 194 and 195 of your textbook. After going to the topic once again. You have to go through the value education question which is given in page number 195. You have to answer a few questions given there using the map given in the page. Then in the next page, page number 196, you will see the continuation of exercise 13.1. You have to complete the question, question number 2. In the same page, you can see the heading my project. Please go through that as well and do accordingly. So children, I hope the concept we learned today are clear to you. That's all for today. We will see in the next class. Till then, bye.